Hello and welcome to the vibrant and dangerous world of Rain World. I have started this on, I think it's the medium difficulty, the survivor difficulty. We'll see if I come to regret that. Probably will. But so far... Oh, our little light fellow seems to be telling me a little bit about what the heck I'm supposed to be doing. Kind of like a tutorial almost. I am a little terrified because I've heard that this game can be extremely unforgiving. Ooh, um, there we go. So it takes a little time. Eat, eat, eat like your life depends on it because it does. Four is enough. Additional food above four is kept for later. So my max health is four. I can have up to seven though, but that's just held for later. I'm guessing that's health. Is there any fall damage? That's something I need to worry about. So our poor little fellow, apparently we were on a vast migration with our family and our little fellow actually fell. Our parents left us behind and now there is nothing left for us except this, I guess. Can I eat it? So there's nothing left for us except this horrible, horrible world now, which is a shame. So this game looks really cool. I'm kind of excited about it. I'm also a little nervous. Uh, rain is coming, find shelter. What does that mean? Is this why it's called Rain World? That you have to get down and like away from wherever the water is? Because I can totally get wherever the water can't get me, but that's kind of terrifying game. Is this it? This place is safe. Stay here to hibernate. Oh. It locks you in. Oh, and you only have a certain amount of time in which you can stay any one place because you starve to death. Boy, that's terrifying. <laughs> My whole objective then, I'm going to assume, is that I need to find food and find safety and get back to my family. So I need to find food in order to hibernate. I want to eat as much as I can and not get eaten as much as I can. That sounds just like nature. Sounds kind of brutal. Wait, what? Oh, now I has stick. What does one do with stick? Uh, bro? Ooh, hot dang. That's kind of like a weapon. I like a good weapon from time to time. So exploration is probably going to be super necessary. So let's do that. I'm also kind of terrified at anything that does is like bigger than me, I have a feeling that it's just going to eat me. So I should probably avoid it at all costs. Ah! What was that? <laughs> what was that thing? Let's back up and run and run and climb and come on, fall down. Free, fall, fall down. Feel free to fall down. <laughs> Do I only have a certain amount of time for rain? Can I get up here? Please? Am I okay here? Is this okay? I think this is okay. I think I locked all the bugs out. <laughs> Sorry, bugs. Good luck with all the water. I So you only have a certain amount of time in order to get from one area to another area. Does that mean I only have a certain amount of time to to really progress anywhere? Oh, I can just eat all these because they were up here anyway. This is free meal. <laughs> Sorry, bugs. Uh, there you go. You can hop down with me, I guess. Now I need to avoid, I'm going to guess, those giant lizard things. It looks like they are also hungry. So this world isn't exactly completely unforgiving but it's nasty it definitely every single creature here wants to eat to survive which is understandable in a world like this keep moving keep moving and then you got to go up and over does that also eat me is that a giant thing that might eat me i have i got myself into a bad situation so far it kind of feels like it Oh, dang. I was hoping I could hit that with that. Ooh, maybe that will eat the lizards. Hey, there's lizards in there. You should go eat them. Uh, how did it get out this way? How? How did it do that? 
What am I supposed to do now? You know what? I don't see where this is going to be any better for me being here than anywhere else. So let's actually just... Let's get moving. Oh, what the heck? It's just sitting there. And now I have this other one. Okay, I got to get back to where I was. I got to go back. I got to wait this one out, I think. Now I have myself a little stabby stick. My little stabby sword. Are What are we going to do? Are they fighting with one another? It feels good that they are, if they are. Or are they just trying to figure out a way to get to me? Oh no, they just straight up just murdered one another. Oh no, there's another purple one! Do they know I'm here? How? How do they know I'm here? Okay, let's learn. How does my little stabby sword work? So I can throw- It didn't even hit it! Well, at least I can distract them. Let's get out of here. I, I'm not sure how that's supposed to work, but it's not working the way I thought it would. I thought I could throw that at them. This area looks a little bit better. There's nothing to eat here. Okay, I don't think I take fall damage. Or if I do, it's not a lot. What is that? What is happening over there? Why are you showing me this? Is that where I need to go? I bet you that's where I need to go. How do I get there, though? Oh! Is this okay? It seems really hot right here. Is this okay? Am I okay? Oh! Is that why this place is Rain World? Because of these machines? Ah, I had to go here because... It was going to activate? Or something? Industrial complex. Well, I'm definitely in the right area. Oh, I need to get down, don't I? I need to get into one of the hiding places. Go, go, go. Go faster. I have to get into that hiding area over there because I think I'm running out of time. I think that's what that tells me. Yeah. Okay. So the dots. <laughs> I was down to my last dot, I think. That makes more sense. It's a timer. It counts down. Now, does the cycle start over, or am I out of time? Was I supposed to complete the game in that amount of time? Or is it that everything is peaceful until I reach this moment? And now the game's, like, fully kicked in, and it's not going to hold my hand anymore. So I get a little worried about that. Ah! No! No, 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 no! No, no, fight, fight, fight for your life! Fight for it! Fight for your life! Whatever you do, fight for it! Son of a gun. They are ambush predators. Oh. My poor little slucky guy. They are kind of adorable now, aren't they? I don't know how many lives you have. Let's hope you don't need to use any more. Now, which way, my friend? You don't really have a clue now, do you? Neither do I. Let's do it. The higher up I can go, I feel like is probably my better bet. Especially if I can grab myself some of these! Thank you. Now hopefully you weren't running from anything in particular. And now is probably not the time to test the whole do I take fall damage thing. Oh, I'm back to where I was. What's really kind of crazy to me is how atmospheric this game is. There's no music. I mean, there is, but very little. Very little music. And yet somehow I it still gives this feeling. A feeling of dread, and yet there's curiosity amongst our little guy. As much as I'm also curious as to what the heck is happening. Was this smart? Ah, 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 ah. What is that? What is that? What is it? Am I okay? I think I'm okay. I think it's terrifying, but I'm okay. It's just struggle. They're falling off. Whatever that is, it, it's coming off. We're fine. Holy cow, what the heck is happening with those? Can I eat it? Oh my god, what is that? Down! Down! Go away. Get away from it. Whatever that is, I have to avoid it at all costs. Oh my god. Oh, you can see the shadow in the background! No! Run! Run, little guy! 
This world is tough. It's so brutal for this little dude. He's just out here trying to live his best life. Why can't everyone just let him be? I'm gonna try my best to get them back to their family. I don't know how well I'm gonna be able to accomplish that, but we'll see how far I get in the next episode. So thank you so much for watching this one. And remember to take care and goodbye!